Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Waspin, and today we are once again looking at fractions. We are on uh, Unit 3, Lesson 6, Comparing Fractions. Now, this is found in our math journals on page 83. So let's take a look at this story problem. It says, Quinn, Nina, Diego, Paula, and Kiana were given four same-sized burritos to share. Quinn and Nina shared one burrito. Quinn ate one-fourth of the burrito, and Nina ate two-fourths. Diego, Paula, and Kiana each ate part of the other burritos. Diego ate two-thirds of one burrito. Paula ate two-fifths of another burrito, and Kiana ate five-sixths of the third burrito. So there's a lot of kids eating lots of burritos, or portions of burritos. Question number one asks, who ate more, Diego or Paula? Or did they eat the same amount? So first we got to figure out what did Diego eat and what did Paula eat? Well, it says here, uh, Diego ate two-thirds of one burrito and Paula ate two-fifths. Okay, so let's write those down. Diego equals two-thirds. And Paula equals two-fifths, okay? Now, I have two fractions that have the same numerator, but a different denominator, meaning that two-thirds and two-fifths represents a different amount. So if I were to create a little uh, drawing, like so... two-thirds would take a fraction that was split up into thirds and Diego ate two-thirds of that burrito. Now Paula got a same size burrito but it was divided into fifths or she only ate two-fifths of it. So again if I shade in two-fifths of the burrito as you can see That's a lot less burrito, okay? So, since the number of parts uh, or numerator were the same, we know that Diego got more of the burrito because there were fewer parts, okay? So how do we phrase that? Okay, so first of all, we have to answer the question, who got more burrito? That would be Diego. Okay, so then how do we know Diego had the same number of parts as Paula, but his were bigger. Two-thirds is more than two-fifths because a fifth of a burrito is smaller than a third of a burrito. Okay? So then it says write a number model using symbols greater than, equal, or lesser than to record the comparison. Okay? So I would write the fraction two-thirds, and then I would write the fraction two-fifths, and then I would write the greater than symbol like that, or... If I reversed the order, if I wrote two-fifths, then two-thirds, I would point the alligator's mouth open to the two-thirds, or write the less-than symbol. So either one of those inequalities would be correct. Okay? So that's how we go about solving a problem like that. Now, take a look at number two, who ate more, Diego or Kiana? Well, I know that Diego had two-thirds of a burrito, okay? But when compared to Kiana, Kiano had five-sixths of a burrito. Now, this causes a different problem because we don't have like numerators or like denominators. 
So what we need to do is we need to come up with some equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. Now, I first have to look at the denominators of both fractions. Thirds and sixths. Thirds and sixths. Now, I know that 3 is a factor of 6, or that 6 is a multiple of 3. That means, basically, I could multiply a number times 3 to get 6, and, of course, that would be 2, okay? So, 3 times 2 gives me 6, so I would multiply the numerator 2 times 2 to give me an equivalent fraction, which is 4 sixths, okay? And when I now compare fractions with a like denominator, 6 to 6, I can see that 4 6 is smaller than 5 6, or, or Kiana 8 more, okay? So Kiana 8 more burrito than Diego. And again, how do I know? So we could say, when you compare like denominators, let's say, of equivalent fractions, We see, what do we see? That 2 thirds equals 4 six, and 4 six is less than 5 six. And there, right there, my friends, is the comparison. So I would just need to take that amount right here, just write it down here. 4, 6 is less than 5, 6, or what we really need to do, put that fraction 2 thirds, 2 thirds is less than 5, 6. That's because 4, 6 is less than 5, 6. Okay? That's how we go about solving these problems. We first have to compare the two fractions. We got to think do we have like numerators? Do we have like denominators? If we have like numerators but different denominators, we just have to think about which parts would be bigger. And we have to think in reverse. The smaller the denominator, the bigger the part. Because if you split something into fewer pieces, each piece is going to be bigger. Okay. Now, if we have unlike numerators and unlike denominators, then we have to come up with some equivalent fractions like we did here, creating uh, thirds into sixths so that we compare two fractions with the same like denominator. Okay? So go ahead and try problem three on your own, comparing Diego to Quinn, and try to figure out which kid ate more burrito. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.